Hey guys, it's Teeksy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be building my personal favourite and in my opinion the best LC10 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. So very quickly as always guys, a quick overview of the class there just so you can see all of the perks and stuff that I use. But like I say, pretty much the same on 99.9% .9 of all my classes. So this is a 5 attachment build guys. So we're starting off with the muzzle and you want the agency suppressor. Obviously gives you a bit of vertical recoil control, muzzle flash concealment. We do lose a bit of effective damage range but ultimately what we're trying to do here is just using the suppressor to stay off the radar that's the type of player i am ghost ninja take long routes and stay off the radar and the agency suppressor helps you do that in terms of the barrel guys you want to be running the ranger barrel now i always used to run the task force but when you run the task force it forces you to use the field agent grip to help with that recall and although you do gain damage with the task force there's obviously a lot of cons whereas with the ranger barrel you get 100% bullet velocity you do lose a bit of aim walking movement speed but it really does not affect this class in terms of the under barrel now that we don't have to worry about the field agent grip for the recoil control you can use the bruiser grip which gives you 3% on your movement speed your sprint move speed your shooting move speed and your aim walking move speed it just speeds the class up up like I say of SMGs you want to be moving around the map fast and this just gives you that extra little bit of speed and you can really get in and out of gunfights quickly in and out of windows buildings move really really quick and this can really help you to stay alive in certain situations for the magazine this is very much personal preference i run the 52 round fast mag to give me the maximum amount of ammo that i can get but also keep that real quick reload time i just don't like the normal rounds you just, it just feels too slow obviously you do lose 25 percent on the ads speed but we are going to gain that back in a moment and on the handle guys we want to run the airborne elastic wrap to gain back the ads speed gives you 90 percent flinch, flinch resistance as well aim while going prone again you do lose some shooting moves being sprint to fire time but honestly you really won't notice it and this is an absolutely brilliant class today's gameplay guys is an absolute banger not only is it live commentary but it's probably one of my cleanest gameplays outside of getting a nuke we almost get it three times in this game multiple different reasons why we die i think we go like 72 and 4 this was honestly such a clean gameplay i'm so happy that i got this while doing live commentary so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please do hit the like button down below if you are brand new around here and want to find your way back for more please do consider subscribing to the channel and as always guys i hope everyone has a great day enjoy the rest of today's gameplay and i'll catch you all in the next one it's really weird. I absolutely love this LC10. That's a stick. That is a stick as well. I absolutely love this LC10 class setup. I'm just really struggling at the moment to get that one gameplay that I'm satisfied with. I'm in trouble here. I'm in a lot of trouble. Or not. I thought there was another player on me. I push street. This is brave. Oh my god, lay down. Hopefully teammates mid have got me covered. This is some bad accuracy from me. This is probably a dumb push. I better not push that anymore. I think we need to try and take a new angle up. I'm not happy that I've missed that hand, get that hand kind of shot. The mission clock is expiring. I wasn't sure if he'd spawn there or not. Actually, I think it might have been a different player. Set. 
don't like that they keep planting the bomb. I just want the round to end at this point. The bomb has been planted. And I don't like that I don't know the spawns right now either. They're plaid pushing me. No, what is that timing? Oh, I can't believe that. A flawless nuke off the rip would have been class. How have we like lost this round though, can I just say? Like, I know I was purely play playing for kills, but I know I said when I started these like class setup videos, I wasn't gonna specifically play for nukes, I just wanted to like just go for kills and stuff, but that's so annoying how well we started that game or this game. That's right, we can vibe with it. We can still have a good game. We don't have to drop a nuke for it to be a banger. Someone put the bomb down. Oh my god, that was lucky. I need to get out of here. I don't like that their top player now knows my location. Bomb is armed. I'm so scared right now. I can't believe that. I honestly have no... That's so annoying. So, I, I think what's happened there is I set the proximity mine off through the wall. So normally if you slide, you get away from it. But I think what's happened there is I've literally set it off through the wall. That is ludicrous. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. That is insane. Like, dying on a 26 and now a 23. I mean, I don't know what, what more I can do. Teammates must be blocking the spawns or something. Your assault pack has been destroyed. Hand cannon available. 
Whoa, what is that accuracy there? I need the bomb to go down, but I don't know if the team is capable of that. Got harp, I need to air patrol that. I've only got 30 seconds anyway, but no, I had to get so aggressive. This is one of the most insane games I've ever had. I cannot believe we lost that first round. That's what's ruined it, having to get aggressive there at the end. Seventy-two and four. That is insane. Finally, with the LC10, I got that one gameplay. That was crazy. I can't believe we didn't nuke. I tried my best. The way it went, though, the proximity mine through the wall, having to rush at the end. But that was insane. Like I don't think that's one of the cleanest gameplays I've had outside of not actually getting a nuke.